Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Cyber Tuesday with Dyens University. My name is Scott Shelton. I'm an education media manager here at Sina Education Services, and I'm extremely excited and grateful to be meeting virtually with my colleague from Dyens University, Ms. Ronad Aljaloudi. Now, Ms. Aljaloudi is a cybersecurity consulting and training specialist with ex experience in information security management systems, risk management, network security, security analysis, cybersecurity awareness, and handling and management. Now, she holds a bachelor's in computer engineering and is a certified chief information security officer, a cybersecurity expert, a security analyst, and a network security expert. She serves as an advisor for multiple leading cyber organizations, including Green Circle, Dyance University, and Bees Crowd. Renat, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Scott. Well, today's topic on this, what is our third Cyber Tuesday, is SOC, and that stands for Security Operations Centers. And you know, SOC is a very hot topic in the cybersecurity industry. So today I was hoping to get your insight and expertise on SOC and specifically, you know, what is it? Why is it important? Uh, and maybe talk about some of the different technologies in SOC and most importantly for a lot of the viewers at home, what are some of the jobs like in SOC? So Renaud, let's start with what is and what are cyber, uh, excuse me, security operations centers? Actually, Scott, Security Operations Center is a team of professionals dedicated to prevent data breaches and other cyber security threats. Uh, the main goal uh, of Security Operations Center is to monitor, detect, investigate, and respond to uh, all types of cyber threats around the clock. Also, Security Operations Center uh, has a team. Uh, so security team members use a wide range of tools and uh, processes, including uh, security information and event management, proactive monitoring, breach uh, detection, detection sorry, uh, and establishing awareness uh, of assets. So, Renan, talk to us a, a little bit about the three major different functionalities of security operations centers. The three means of security defense strategy are protection, uh, prevention, and detection. Uh, protection includes uh, threat hunting, system monitoring, uh, backup, uh, and recovery. And let me uh, stop on the system monitoring points. Monitoring our organization uh, devices for signs of security incidents is a primary responsibility in order to protect the databases, securities, and servers. Most of organization with a SOC keeps the facility running 24 by 7 with employees that work in shifts, so the system are never left unpro uh, unprotected. Uh, also, if an incident is detected, the security operation center takes the necessary measurements to uh, remove the risk, mitigate the uh, damage, uh, and protect the system from similar incidents in the future. Uh, additional uh, SOC detect responsibilities may include uh, the following, uh, asset discovery and management, uh, continuous system behavior monitoring, uh, activity log maintenance, and compliance auditing. Uh, the SOC also uh, work in, st in strengthen uh, incident prevent prevention techniques uh, before vulnerability are detected. This ongoing, ongoing through the threat intelligence, research, system development, update maintenance, and the staff security training. Excellent. Uh, yeah. So, so can you talk to us a, a little bit about what are some of the some of the capabilities of security operation centers? Yes. Uh, Scott, a well functional SOC actually requires communication and cooperation among several functions. Uh, we called it in cybersecurity people policy process and technology. Uh, only when all four elements are working together in harmony, uh, security operation center can be successful. Uh, so my advice um, uh, to many organizations is to make sure to invest enough time, money and resources uh, in each of uh, these four building blocks to guarantee a long-term success. Wonderful. So you know, why is this important? You know, what, what are some of, what are some of like the benefits of having a security operations center? Uh, security operations center is ideal for organizations with highly sensitive information that may result in expensive damage or cost if that data is breached. 
So uh, SOC uh, or Security Operation Center can provide any organization with benefits, such as uh, uninterrupted monitoring uh, for suspicious activity, uh, improved incident detection and response time, uh, higher customer satisfaction with the security, and more transparent control over security operations. Excellent. So, you know, there are a number of different challenges that can be solved. Can you talk to us, uh, you know, just a little bit about, about a few of those? Yeah. Um, uh, in cybersecurity world, uh, they, um, uh, we have uh, a layers and variety of technologies from uh, application to network uh, and including the endpoints. Um, and uh, these technology are increasing uh, uh, complexity uh, to manage, detect, and response uh, these incidents. Uh, so from our experience, uh, the best way to run a security operation center with multiple technology is to focus on having, uh, in addition to uh, SEM, security information and event management, um, AI and analytics, uh, so threat intelligence uh, and hunting, and soft governance architecture. So uh, some security events and uh, security information and event management alone will not provide a security operation center uh, and is not enough. Uh, we need these technologies to make it more effectively action uh, driven and minimal false positive. All right, so Renaud, for those that are hoping to get into this field, can you talk a little bit about what are some of the jobs available at security operation centers? Actually, a security operation center is a part of organization incident response strategy and can be tailored to fit the company. One way to tailor uh, the security operation center to business goals is to select team members with different technical backgrounds. For example, each SOC typically has a manager that oversee uh, all team members, uh, but the team of self can include a variety of incident responders. Uh, also forensic investigators, SOC analysts, and uh, uh, compliance auditor. Uh, so uh, the main question here is why you should go for SOC analyst, um, as it is one of the most needed jobs in the market with a lake of security um, skilled professionals uh, in this uh, domain. Renaud, this is fantastic in information. Thank you so much. Um, for those of you that are interested in this type of training, uh, obviously we would highly recommend that you go check out our website, www.dience.university. There are there's SOC analyst certification training, and there's also an upcoming um, master's program, in um, which is 100% online. So you can take it anywhere in, in the world, right? in um, cybersecurity and data science as well. Renaud, thank you so much for, for your you. time today. You did a fantastic job and uh, we look forward to future Cy Cyber Tuesdays uh, with you and your team at, at Dalliance. Yeah, pleasure to meet you as always, Scott. Wonderful, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much.